just to set up uh, next fr next Friday's uh, stream, but I'll talk about that after we're done here. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Now, based on everything that she's done, she would only release the good people out of here, but... Who's here to determine who's good? Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his paint. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. This forsaken city. Your time's run out. I hate how loose the controls are on this thing. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Here we go! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman! Batman! He stuck me in here! Me too! Let me out him! He's the crazy one! Great! I gotta take on all these shits. <laughs> that was easy. Are we still two minds of it? loose the leader of the children of Arkham did you see her they went don't have to say that twice all right here we go time for some fancy footwork here Thank you. 
Are so good. Crash that mask, out of boy. And hit a lady in the face. Boy Gordon, you are going to die. Full Nelson suplex right through the table. Truly inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. Uh oh. Thank you. You take care of the dirty work, I'll take care of, I'll take care of the highlight film here. Damn it, Vicky, you're not getting away that easy. Come on now. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Damn it. It's always a trap. It's like Cuphead on that last level. You gotta go to hell before you finish it off. And no, for the record, I don't want to play Cuphead. You do not want to see me get as frustrated as all hell when it comes to Cuphead. Looks like that bell tower in the original Joker movie. Help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. She does have a point. <laughs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. 
anyone can find them. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12 inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for my old man. Hit Y instead of X. Ah, stupid controller. You're doing so much for my old man. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. All right, we got another one of these quick time you know, games, I bet. Like Deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. Alright, here we go. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than him? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, blaming other men to carry his burdens. You are my enemy, Batman. Two traps. <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear a mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. wasn't a good shot so we're gonna end this in a church seems apropos during the pandemic hold on Alfred uh, you 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 came you came for me uh, after what you said I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't 
you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save you. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. he did are unforgivable but i am trying to make up for his crimes i wear this mask to help people i'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk i know a liar when i see one about half I still got half to go yet stop thinking it's over nothing will keep me from my revenge Right outside that jaw. And she goes flying.
Let's go right into the angel. Boom. Bye bye, Vicky. for her now. Damn. Rough evening there for uh, Lady Arkham. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Bullshit. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Amen. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> That it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not, but you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. To peace! The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. 
So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. I think I gotta go with Bruce. Let Gordon know. Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. I gotta repair my uh, reputation, so... I think that's the key thing right now. Batman, go beat up some bad guys and you can get your reputation back. Not a big deal. But when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to Bruce Wayne, a little bit more involved. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use, a chainsaw? <laughs> well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. I think that's the best we can get out of them for that. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father, but nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man, heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, I 
I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Uh-oh. Fuck was that? Clear the area. Get that bastard to lock up. That was weird. Can't even get through a press conference without somebody being attacked? Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, they didn't get everybody out. Or everybody back in, I guess is the best way to put it. So three quarters of us were able to get the job done with the penguin. So me and 27... Uh, Told Alfred, no matter who's at fault, it matters fixing the problem. That's right. 67% of people comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. Well, 2.3 players blamed Alfred. Didn't do enough. 2.1 of players did not respond. Hmm. Me and 91%, everybody said, <laughs> yeah, thirsty, thirsty group we do this. 73% took off the cows, so basically three, three quarters of us, so I like that. And it's almost pretty even on who came in as uh, Bruce or Batman there. Let's see my season overview. Compassionate, merciful, cunning, and collaborative. I am super compassionate. That's always great. Let's see here. All right, and that wraps it up.